morning guys um, I've got a bit of a confession it's a little bit a little bit difficult to talk about with all the social stigma and everything but uh, I have crabs more specifically bait crabs so today we're going to be talking about just a few of the species we're not doing anything too in-depth um, we're just going to go through the main species we talk about and then we're going to do a follow-up video hopefully in the next little bit on uh, some of the estuarine species as well so today We've got these five guys over here. These are the main guys you're gonna find on the rock and surf side of things. So we start off with the infamous muscle man crab. Now he gets his name from his giant pincers in the front. You see how they disproportion to the rest of his body. So he's like that guy that goes to the gym, really pumps iron all the time, but forgets that he needs to work his legs as well. Um, basics of the crab, let's just get that out of the way. Uh, crab's got, he's part of the decapods, he's got 10 legs, okay, so he's got the four leg main legs on the side and then the single pincer in the front you see that's a common across all of the crabs that we talk about today so this is called a muscle man crab more specifically the the proper name for him is smith's xanthid now he's a xanthid crab um, scientific name xanthid smithii obviously named after smith himself um, we're going to go through baiting of all of these crabs so you're going to be able to see how to use them but basics of the crab he sits very similar to most of these he's going to sit in your rocky hollows he uses his pincers to wedge himself in so he's very difficult to actually get out of the out of the rocks when you when you find them he's not a fast moving crab so he's not like your ghost crabs and things like that that sprint across the beach he walks very very slowly and he wedges himself in nice and long and he has got a very very hard carapace and the the pincers themselves uh, from that we're going to move on to this is called a rock crab otherwise known as a shore crab. Uh, Cyclograspus, I have to look at my notes, excuse me, punctatus. <laughs> that is your, he's a very flattened crab. He's probably the most common crab that you guys are gonna find along the rocks. They are very quick. Um, you'll see they've got little claws on the end there. They're actually very hard little spikes that sit on their feet. And the, the end of their claw, uh, their foot's actually got a little spike to it. Now that, combined with the general flat, flatness of their whole body. So even their legs are flattened, allows them to, to sit on the rocks and the waves, you, you, you would have seen this before if you take note of when you, where you're fishing, the, the waves can absolutely pound the area that they're sitting on and they'll just sit there and hold on tight. They just gross down a little bit and the wave washes straight over the top. Now that's because of that, that body shape, because of the legs and because of those spikes and uh, the little claws and, and actually able to hold on. Now, he feeds just with the little pincers. You see his pincers are a hell of a lot smaller in comparison. He just feeds, he picks off through the weed, uh, picks anything that he can find there really to eat. Um, generally a lot softer, thinner shell. Um, and yeah, you see the same thing. You've got the four legs. This guy's actually missing a leg out the back there, but four legs on this side, plus the pincer. So five each side. From that, we're moving on to our uh, swimming crab. He is a scalloped swimming crab, so Thalamite uh, Cronata. He's one of two main swimming crabs that we get. You do get, there are a lot of species guys, we're just covering the basics here. Now, he's gonna be, you see for swimming crabs, that back set of legs is actually turned into a set of paddles like that. So he's got the one, two, three legs there, pincers, plus the paddle leg at the back. So it's still five and five. As you see, he's got the spikes along the front, that uh, just allows him to protect himself along with the spikes on the top. Now they like, like most of the swimming crabs, this one and the blue swimming crab, which a lot of guys will know, are actually quite aggressive. Now, they, as soon as you approach them, because they're generally either in open water when you see them, otherwise they bury themselves under the ground. If you catch them into, in open water, you'll stand and you'll flare his pincers out like that at you. So he's got the blue on the inside like that. It's just a bit of a deterrent, bit of a flash. He can flash at you. Um, to try and scare you away. They swim either sideways like that and they use their, their pedal to kick almost like a lifesaver. So this is sort of the, uh, the Jace Govender of crabs. Combine that with a muscle man. Um, you got the little kick, he kicks sideways like that, allows him to propel along and he's fairly aerodynamic as well so he moves along like that. Um, very good eating by the way. Okay, next we're going to move on to our ghost crab. So Everybody will know the ghost crab. He's the one you see on the beach every day when you go fishing. They, they bury their burrows down into the sand. They can actually go very, very deep. This is a pink ghost crab. 
he's Okipodi Ridurai. Ridurai. Um, so he lives in the sand. He's obviously he's built to be in the sand. He's got his his four legs plus the pincers. They're very good at digging. Um, you can see he's not not designed to grip onto rocks, so he doesn't have those the little claws to help grip. He's just got the spikes that go into the sand. So you'll see that where they've been walking a lot, you'll see the little dimple marks in the sand. Um, fairly roundish body, the eyes that stick out. The other one you get is called a horned ghost crab. He's got the little protrusions on the end of his eyes. They stick out and they're a little bit more greeny color. Um, him you find more up in the north coast. This guy you find all the way down, down south. Um, they are yeah, very, very fast crabs. The best way to catch them it's a hell of a lot of fun to chase them down and try grabbing with your hands but you're going to really struggle struggle to do that with them because they are quite quick um, best way is actually to build a trap so you dig a hole put a bucket in put a bit of bait in there and you make it level with the sand and they come along they smell they fall in it's like similar to the way they trap rats um, that's that that's him he's more of a sand sand dwelling species so these guys are more on the rocks sand dwelling and now we come back to more kelp coral rocky type structure that's a, a decorator crab some guys do refer to them as spider crabs because they're very similar in structure uh, species wise i'm not actually 100 percent sure i will admit to to what species this guy is maybe someone can comment in the comments for us but yeah decorator crab they do add stuff to their body from the surroundings so they actually pluck and stick on uh, to make themselves blend in this guy as you can see doesn't have anything on him he's relying on his colored camouflage uh, more on the rocks you can see he's got the little spikes and underneath he's got little spikes on those spikes to grip on nicely but it's more to grip on your your seaweeds and things like that that he can actually hold on to um, biggish pincers gonna feed um, primarily similar to like a rock crab how he picks off like that and yeah very very small eyes then uh, that's pretty much all we can talk about for him uh, look out for another video we're gonna do on a few of the other swimming crabs and possibly on the estuarine crabs, little dotillas and things like that. But yeah guys, those are my crabs uh, and we're going to hand over to Ray in, the next, in another video and you can see how he baits up with all of these. Cheers guys. <laughs>